it's going to take a while before we know what's doing to the body uh, overall. Uh, but the portal of entry for all that is the mouth. The first place it enters is the mouth. And usually that aerosol is very hot. Um, it hits right the back of the throat and actually they have a name for it. It's called the hit and they can manipulate the ingredients to have a higher hit, faster hit, stronger hit compared to um, some other ingredients that um, don't have that effect. It dries the mouth and uh, again mouth is not designed to have that kind of insult. So over time, what does it to do to the mucosa? We don't know because it has not been long um, around for a long time. Even the tobacco um, smoking harm became evident years after. So I think it's going to take a while before we know what it does over the long term. But what we have seen is that it definitely causes dry mouth uh, in the, uh, and the patients um, sometimes are comfortable, uh, uncomfortable with that. Um, there is extreme heat in the back of the oral cavity. There is definitely an association between vaping and gum disease, periodontal disease, because after all, it still con contains nicotine. Uh, and nicotine still is a vasoconstrictor, it's still doing the same uh, constriction of the blood flow to the tissues and that could be a risk factor. Uh, beside, besides that, it contains ingredients that are not supposed to be in the oral cavity and uh, we don't know what they are doing and we don't know enough about how they would um, uh, impact the mouth. Uh, only research would show uh, in the long term. And one thing that the researchers are working on is the effect of um, um, vaping on oral microbiome. Now, mouth um, has a very rich oral flora, a whole host of microbes that are friendly. And even though we don't know they are there, they are, carry a very important function. They protect us against certain infections. They are bacteria, but they are good bacteria. They are bacteria that we want them to have them around. For example, if you destroy certain bacteria, then you get trash, you get fungal infection. That's why there is a delicate balance there. Now imagine you expose those valuable oral flora to um, to vape um, aerosol. Um, researchers have found that the bacteria that are originally good, they become more virulent. They develop a, a slime layer. Um, and as a result of that, body starts to consider them as a pathogen and develops an anti-inflammatory uh, response. And it's not good to have inflammation going on through your body. So over time, we'll find out what the long-term effects are. But in the lab, uh, when they're doing studies, they are finding uh, some of these uh, uh, micro effects at the, um, uh, in the oral anatomy. Um, they have found that vaping affects wound healing, similar to the tobacco smoke. And um, um, there is um, a suggestion that it could also increase risk of caries. Uh, but again, we need long-term studies at the population level to find out whether or not there is and how this process takes place.